Well guys, I said I would never buy another Helmer, that the four that I have is more than enough, and then I would be stopping at four and I would be done at four. Clearly that was not the case. That was a lie. I lied to you. I lied to myself. I lied to, I don't know, God, I guess. I, I lied to everybody. Lied to everyone. I tricked myself into believing that four was enough. So here we are. And you know what? I do feel a little bit bad about this one. Like this is the first time I bought one of these and I feel a little guilty about it. I mean, obviously not guilty enough to not have bought it, not guilty enough to decide to return it, but guilty enough to decide that this one for sure, for sure, is my last Helmer. Okay? It's the last one. Five is enough. Because, listen, there's four over here, and they fit perfectly next to my desk. And then where's this one going to go? I don't even know. I haven't even decided. Do I shove it under the desk? No, because then you can't access the top drawer. I have to pull it all the way out. Or I could put it next to my desk over here, which I think is what I'm going to have to do. I have to make a decision, and I have to build this today. I got to get this done because... Well, I've been in the process of, like, filming a room maintenance vlog, and I thought I was going to stick this in here, but I realized it's going to take way too long because this is going to take a while. You got to see the state of my drawers. Like after PBE and after the really generous gift I got from It Is Amanda, plus, you know, extra PR here and there, I don't have space in my drawers. I'm assuming I'm going to need a fifth one. So I bought it. I've just been shoving polish in because I don't want it on my desk. It's really, it looks unseemly and I don't like having a mess. It really stresses me out. But then in my head, like I know that in this drawer here, there's just a pile of mismatched nail polish. And I'm having a house guest next week. This is Friday when I'm doing this. And on Wednesday is when she's arriving. And I don't want her to judge me. So I, <laughs> I gotta get this done. You know, when I first bought a Helmer, I believe it was 50 or $60 from Ikea. Reasonable price. Now this one was 80, this is $80. Like the, the, every time I buy a Helmer, I swear it goes up by like 10 bucks. I don't understand. So this one, it's the, I'm done. I'm not paying more than $80 for a Helmer and I'm not buying another Helmer. Five is enough. If I, reach capacity, when I reach capacity on number five, that's when de-stashing has to happen. I have to start, I have to break that barrier down and start de-stashing. You know, if it doesn't fit, I gotta de-stash enough for it to fit. Like, so that's gonna be hard, but I think that it's also necessary. I, I don't know, like, I just feel like that's where, maybe I'll change my mind when I get there. I really don't want to at this point. I have I have more than enough nail polish for many lifetimes. So we're gonna build this and then there's a lot of rearranging that I gotta do. So I'll try to show some of that on camera as well and show you the final result. Also, in my Helmers, I do put uh, like, it's like fridge liner or shelf liner. It's like a rubberized one. Uh, it's not the weird sticky cloth one because that one rips the labels off the bottom of your bottles. But I do cut this down to size for the drawers and it does help prevent sliding to some degree because these metal shelves are slippery. For some reason, I forgot that I had this. And so I bought this, um, but this looks like it's gonna be more than enough. So luckily I got this off of Amazon, probably, I haven't opened it yet. So I'm going to go through this and then once I determine that this is in fact enough, I'm just going to return this. I don't, I don't think I've ever returned anything on Amazon. So I got to figure out how to do that. I'm sure it's fairly easy, but yeah, let's do it. You'd think after building four of these, I would just have it memorized, but I don't know. So if you've never built a Helmer before, um, it comes in just this like really bad crappy sheet metal like these are not high quality and I feel like the more I pay for a Helmer the worse the quality is like right off the bat like can you see this is already warped and distorted luckily like you need to bend this because this is one of the drawers but still like $80 for shitty sheet metal like okay and I paid it I, I duped myself I like these for storage I think they're great I know some people like the 
Ikea Alex drawers, but you can't pull the drawer all the way out. Um, although my desk is like from the Alex system. I like the Alex drawers. I just, I don't know. So here's one of the sides. Oh, it smells bad. Oh, it's the cardboard. The cardboard smells like wet dog. So we got our two sides. We gotta line them up like this. And then we need our bracket thingies for the drawers. Rob's gonna be so mad when he comes home and he sees how much cardboard he has to throw out. He won't let me take the trash out. He gets really irritated when I take the trash out because he thinks that someone's gonna kidnap me. I'm like, nobody's gonna kid. Nobody wants me, Robert. Only you. You're the only person. And then these just like snap in, in theory. I feel like Ikea furniture has gotten just exponentially worse over the years. Like, I don't know if it's just growing up that I'm just like, oh, like I want higher quality furniture or if like, I just feel like a lot of stuff, not just Ikea, but like stuff that I've been buying lately, I'm paying more and I'm either receiving less or the quality is worse and I just, I'm sick of it. Ow. I literally cannot master camera angles. I don't. Like, I've been doing this for, like, three years, and I'm just like, wait, you guys want to actually see me on the camera? Like, so we're going to do this sideways, because I guess this is, this is better. It's more cardboard. Oh, I fully missed. Okay, now we do the same thing, but mirrored on the other one. Ow! I hit my foot. This is upside down. That's the problem. I was like, what's going on? Quite literally, I have already screwed up. Um, wasn't paying attention to the directionality here. So now we gotta redo all of them. Okay, they're correct now. So now we can move on to the next step, which is putting this thing into this thing. Now we have the outer shell done. Okay, so I've checked like nine times and this is in fact the back. Yeah, I shouldn't use a knife. This. I need to go get a screwdriver. Be right back. Silly little metal tabs are all that's holding it together. And it's like once you get it all assembled, it's not like that flimsy, but it's just like everything, all the, the sum of its parts is not flimsy, but all the bits and pieces are. It's just really annoying. Oh yeah, we're gonna put wheels on it. You don't have to put the wheels on it. I always put the wheels on mine just uh, just because, I don't know. Like if I'm ever gonna be moving into a place that has like hardwood or something, it'd be nice to just have them on there. Uh, on the carpet, it weighs so much that it sinks into the carpet. So the wheels do nothing. But if you're like never gonna move, you're never gonna move these around, I, this is like a pointless step. You don't need them. I need a different screwdriver. Oh my god. For some reason, that took a million years and I got so filled with rage that it <laughs> made me really sweaty. Um, so yeah, got the wheels in. I don't remember the wheels ever being that hard to put in. And this is what I mean about quality control at Ikea is like, it's so bad. Um, because the amount of force that I had to put in to screwing a screw, which is not even hard to do. I had to stand above it and like literally like push with my body weight, which like you shouldn't need to weigh as much as me to make a freaking helm or like, come on ladies. Just very annoying. So now we're on to the fun part. And I say fun with utmost sarcasm because this is so tedious and annoying. This is the part where we build all six of the drawers. So, so the drawers technically come in like four pieces. So you have the, like the flat, like this is the bottom and the sides. This is the back. This is the front. And then you have the handle. And they technically, they tell you to put the handle on after you've assembled the drawer, but I'm not doing that because I have really big hands and these drawers are not deep. So getting your hand in there with a screwdriver after you've fully assembled the drawer is not for me. It's not for giantesses. So I'm gonna put the handles on first and then assemble the drawers. Okay, I got all the drawer fronts assembled. So now let's make the actual drawer. So this feels really like weird to do because you're literally taking this sheet metal here 
and you have to bend it and it feels a little bit like, oh my God, I'm breaking it. But you literally just bend it on the seam there. So we have more tabs in here. I know you can't see from that far away, but you just kind of have to hook it all in like that. And then using a screwdriver and not a knife, you bend the tabs so it locks it in. Now we can put the back in and it's just got like a thing that you basically just slide it into. And then you've got four more tabs. Ikea loves tabs. And the drawer is done. There is uh, one last tab here on the side that you push in after you put it in the set of drawers and then it locks it from coming all the way out again. I choose not to do that because I like to be able to pull my drawers all the way out because like, okay, here's where that tab is. That means that this much you can't like access easily. That's like three rows of nail polish. Like I don't, I'm not doing that. So that drawer is done. I'm going to do the other five really quick and then we can fill these. Oh my God. So this, this is everything that needs to get sorted into my drawers and kind of why I needed the final fifth helmer. So in order to make this easier on myself, before I even put it into drawers, I'm going to pre-sort it uh, alphabetically by brand because that's how I do it. And then I'm just going to pull each drawer and like fit them in how they need to go alphabetically. And I'm going to try and leave a gap for about two rows of polish in each drawer, to, you know, room to grow. So I don't have to like constantly be shifting from drawer to drawer to drawer to drawer. We'll see how that goes. Uh, so I'm going to like listen to something while I do this and maybe I'll speed this up. Okay, now I just have to put all of the polishes in. You can see this drawer is pretty full, so I have to shift a bunch of stuff, take like two rows out the back. So this is gonna take a while. So again, I'm just gonna speed it up and probably like throw some music over it. So I know I said I'd throw some music on, but I figured I'd just do a little, you know, voicey voice over here and chat with you guys instead. So as you guys can see, I pretty much am having to unload each drawer slot in all of the new polishes that I'm adding in and then put everything back and I'm leaving a small like two row gap in the back of every drawer and this actually left me with one empty drawer like one fully empty drawer on my fifth helmer the first drawer is full minus those two rows the second drawer is like half full. I have a full drawer dedicated to minis, a full drawer dedicated to stamping polish, and a full drawer dedicated to gel, although I may be de-stashing that. I don't really use it, so I might get rid of all that. So 
that leaves one fully empty drawer. And then each drawer itself has two empty slots in the back. So I have plenty of room to grow. Uh, a lot of time before I have to really start cracking down and de-stashing. This whole process, I think from... I, I started building the Helmer at like 1045. And then I finished putting away the last polishes shortly before three o'clock. So it the whole process took me about four hours and that's including building the Helmer. So I would say that's not really that bad considering how many polishes I have and having to remove them all, sort them all, that kind of a thing. And for some people, I think that this might be a hardship for me. I really enjoy doing this. I like to be able to take out and look at my whole collection like this and just touch and feel and and like clink all the bottles together and stuff. I know it's a little bit strange to some people, but for me, this is just one more aspect of the hobby and I enjoy it. I love sorting my hobby supplies. Like, I don't, I don't know what it is. It's just everything's colorful and it's fun to look at. And so I really have a good time doing this. Uh, it is a little bit exhausting though, it, like on the eyes, especially, you just kind of are like, okay, I'm tired of trying to decide which purple is more purple than the next purple when you're putting them all in a row. Uh, and the reason, like I said earlier, the reason why I wanted to get this done is because I'm having a house guest and I don't ever have house guests. I am a little bit like, like weird about letting people into my home. Not because I don't want people to see my home, but I just, uh, I have a lot of anxiety surrounding like the state of my home. It's very clean and it's very organized, but I feel like it's never clean or organized enough and I'm always afraid people are going to judge me that just goes with my I have OCD so you know it's just one of those things that I have this like weird paranoia that people are like talking about how messy I am even though I'm the cleanest person I know <laughs> it's it's irrational but OCD is irrational what can you do but I wanted to I don't know I wanted to get it in order so that when she comes she can see it now it's glory and uh, I also just want to impress her a little bit. I wanted to be like, wow, Hillary, you're so cool. You're so amazing. I wish that I was as cool and amazing as you when it comes to your nail polish. <laughs> I don't know. I like when people praise my organization skills. And so I'm ex And also she's going to be staying in this room. I, I'm going to put her up in this room because I have a futon in here and stuff. And so I want it to be clean and comfortable for her. So that's kind of why I did this. Also, I like deep clean my whole apartment. I just, it, something got in me and I just had to clean it. So she better love how clean my apartment is. If she doesn't say anything, I will actually cry. If she's not like Hillary, this is the cleanest apartment I've ever seen. I'll lose my mind. But yeah, so I, I do have a lot of space for growth, but not like, you know, not like a crazy amount. So I have to really start thinking about what do I want for my collection? What do I want to keep? What could I do without? I've already got some ideas of polishes that would be the first on the chopping block, uh, but I don't want to get rid of them yet. I don't know what it is. Like, it's just one of those things, but eventually I will have to part with some of them because I really do want to stick true to no more than five Helmers. I don't have space for, I mean, I guess I do have space for a six Helmer, but it would be ugly and it would be cumbersome. So, so I just really have to stick to that word. Okay. So I have everything fully in the drawers. I've put new paper labels on because obviously everything has kind of shifted. Uh, no sticker magnets as of yet because in my vlog I'm going to be making sticker magnets so I'm going to put them on there but this is where I ended up putting my uh, new Helmer just right next to my desk and we have two Z drawers minis, gel, stamping and then one fully empty drawer and this Z drawer has, oh, that's like rolled up. I got to fix it, but quite a lot of space. And every drawer has around enough space for two more rows of polishes. So pretty good. I guess I really did need the fifth Helmer, um, but that is the last one. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was somewhat interesting and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.